The ancient crypt is sealed by a massive iron door, tightly seamed down the middle. Close inspection reveals the door has been opened recently, but there is no appearance of a lock or other mechanism for opening the iron barrier. A faint odor wafts up from the depths of the crypt below. The musty smell of the long departed. Descending into the darkness, you wonder what horrors might await. The stairway has collapsed, but it is difficult to tell whether this is the result of something natural or otherwise. Just out of reach, beyond the rusted gate, a few glimmering objects lie resting at the bottom of the canal. The crystal gemstone slowly begins to move, drawn by an unseen force toward the unusual rock. Across the chamber stands an unmoving figure, wrapped in cloth, rotted yellow. Who awakens Palakas Ra? Long have I slumbered undisturbed, awaiting the return of Lord Seth. My lord who banished me so long ago, perhaps he has forgotten me. Lord Seth, I call upon thee. Release me from this burning curse round my neck. For a thousand years I have felt its pain. It is filled with such... with such goodness. Oh, the agony of it. But perhaps I may be redeemed and earn his favor once again. Ah, yes! I shall sacrifice you to Lord Seth. Your blood will heal my rotting flesh. I will give be strong and serve at my Lord's side. As the arms of Philosophy are to the ground, 
A bright gold necklace spurts out from beneath the decayed wrappings. It almost seems to have exploded from his chest, as if repulsed by some powerful force suddenly released from whatever magic had bonded them together. The statue of an angelic figure keeps vigilance over the chamber, its expression a poise born of divine serenity. Thy heart be of grace. Only the worthy shall enter. A pristine urn, engraved with strange runes, stands perched beside the gate. Upon the face of the urn you read the following, two paths to follow, but only one may you choose. Concealed within the flames of the burning pyre, a strange colored object catches your eye.
Mosaic letters on the floor read, Bath Resolve. The mesmerizing pool of liquid beckons invitingly. A channel of water floods the large canal before you, and nearby a dilapidated dock lies partially collapsed. Perhaps an explanation for this underground moat lies somewhere ahead. Engraved in bold letters above the doorway, you read, Asylon Morbidus. Once more! But 
I could not control them. My dead rats escaped, and, and, and before long, they were spreading the sickness everywhere. It's like a plague, yes, yes, yes. Now, all the dead are being reborn. I fear it will soon escape the confines of, of this old crypt. I, I must find a cure. The dead will never die. Soon, soon I will have an antidote that will control the sickness. Yes, yes, yes. Once I am cured, I, I will lead my undead army into the world. We will kill everyone. Yes, yes, yes.